Ruhr Metropolitan Region, Germany's second largest conurbation after Berlin, and a future workshop for the transformation of old industrial areas. The Zollverein coal mine was once the most modern coal mine in the world. Today, it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a conference venue for the IWA LET 2024. With its heavy industrial past, the Ruhr is also an exciting region in terms of water management. Three major water management players are active here. Ruhrverband looks after the water quantity and quality of the region's namesake river, the Ruhr. It is the water supplier for 4.6 million people. The counterpart to the Ruhrverband is the Emscher Genossenschaft. Its main task is the discharge and treatment of wastewater. The Emscher was used as a sewer for over 100 years. Its renaturation is now nearing completion. Treatment and distribution of drinking water is the responsibility of Germany's largest water utility, Gelsenwasser AG, which supplies 2.5 million people with drinking water. 30 years and 5.5 billion euros. The reconstruction of the Emscher and its tributaries is a project of the century. A new 51 kilometer long sewer separates wastewater from freshwater. This will be accompanied by the renaturation of a total of 329 kilometers of river course, including its tributaries. The world's largest solar thermal drying plant is located at the Botwap Wastewater Treatment Plant. With the help of solar energy, the sewage sludge is processed to generate electricity, making the plant self-sufficient in terms of energy. At the junction of the Emscher and Rheinherner Kanal, now free of wastewater, the Emscherland is being created, a nature and water experience park which, as a garden of the future, will be part of the International Garden Show 2027. The Haltan Waterworks in the northern Ruhr region supplies around one million people and is one of the largest waterworks in Europe. The inflows from the water-rich surrounding area are dammed and treated in near-natural processes. Gelsenwasser AG is investing 200 million euros in optimizing a total of six waterworks along the Ruhr. In addition to the classic purification stages, they will receive activated carbon filters for the absorption of trace substances, physical deacidification, and UV filtration. Improving the carbon footprint of the waterworks is another task for the future. The self-generation of energy from renewable sources and the AI-supported optimization of process flows make an important contribution here. Dam management is also changing in the wake of climate change. Studies by the Ruhrverband show that the climate resilience of water management can be significantly improved through intelligent control. A major issue is the elimination of trace substances, especially pharmaceutical residues, also from wastewater. To this end, the Ruhrverband operates a large-scale pilot sewage treatment plant in Schwerte, where the efficiency and costs of ozonation and absorption are being investigated. Above all, however, the Ruhr is a major recreational area for people and a habitat for countless animal species. All those involved in water management in the Ruhr region regard the preservation or restoration of the ecological balance as an overriding task. Because water is life. Convince yourself. We look forward to welcoming you to the Ruhr region. <laughs>